Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert a list of values from columns or rows. And I'm just going to use columns here and turn it into a comma separated list. So what does that mean? Let's say, for example, I have my list here and I want to turn it into a list like this where it's separated by commas. Now we can also have scenarios where we have two columns. This is a what we can call a multi-dimensional array. We've got two columns here. And there's a couple ways we can do this. We can either have it comma separated by the first column and then complete that one do the second column or comma separated by the first row for both columns and then go to the second row to third row you can see that here we have x here and dash 5 x here and dash 5 but this one the dash 5 here doesn't come into play until we get down here so it does the first column here and then does the second column so I'm going to show you how to do it and there's actually three ways that we can do this I'm using three different functions in Google Sheets. So let's get to it. So here I'm in Google Sheets and we're gonna use the three ways and there are three functions. I'm gonna use concatenate, join, and text join. So those are the three examples that I'm going to show. So what concatenate, what we can do is basically what concatenate does is just concatenates it, add, it appends things together. I'm going to select this first cell here press enter and then for the second cell it's just concatenate and this cell comma and we're going to put the other comma in quotes that's the delimiter here and let's move this x this out we're going to select b2 here press enter so you see that it's concatenated it's added this cell and the one above. So if I double click the fill handle here to copy the formula down, you can see it's just repeated those steps over and over again. So I have my comma separate list of this column list here in one cell. So we can copy and paste it and put it into some type of search query or some other system. The second way we can do this, let's go to the join function now. Equals join and open parentheses we need to indicate what delimiter that we want to use. So I will type in quotes, comma, and quotes, space of quotes, and what's next. Let's put the, let's turn on the help here. So it's telling us that what is gonna be our value or array, array one, array two. So I can select this, press enter, and you can see that it's joined everything together. In addition, I can string those together, right, comma, Let's move this a little bit smaller and let's see if we can, yeah, we'll X this out for now. And we can select our second one, our second list, our second array, press enter. And now you see it's extended it. So we have that dash X there, our three dash five should be somewhere around here, over here. So it's added those two columns together. Now, the thing about join here is it doesn't let us do multi-dimensional arrays. What does that mean? So let's type join and then the quote comma space quote and if we tried to do a2 to b11 it's going to give us an error and that's the beauty of our next function here text join so text join lets you do a little bit more with in terms of flexibility of doing stuff so i type equals text join let's just select that and the syntax is pretty much the is pretty much the same the, the way we've built it out is quotes comma, space, quotes. But our second argument here, let's put on the uh, formula help. We have to have this ignore empty. This is another argument. This basically tells us to ignore any empty cells and keep on going. And I'll show you an example of how this works with text join and join if I can compare it later on. So we're gonna put true. So I'm just gonna add, tell it to ignore any empty cells and continue on. And so our text here, we can just say, select this. And you see that empty cell there? It's not going to do anything there, right? It's going to ignore that. So we have the dash two here and our dash five there. So if we use the join function and do the delimiter, comma, quotes, comma, and then try to join that together, you're going to notice it's going to add an extra comma, right? right at the very end here, it added that extra comma. So what the text join does, it ignores it and it just goes to the next cell. Now, as I mentioned before, 
the text join is really nice that it lets you do join multi-dimensional arrays. So if I type equals text join, comma, or tab to open that up, quotes, comma, and then close quotes, that's my delimiter. And true, let me just ignore it all. I can select this and it has joined this cell first and then went to the dish dash five, right? And then join the second row, the dash six here, dash nine, dash six and dash dash uh, six here, and it's done that nicely. Now, if I didn't want to do that, I can always just do the text join, and comma quote comma true, and select my first column here, comma, and then my second column there for that array, comma, and it lets me do that. So I have my da dash x dash six, and I don't get to my three dash five until around over here. So the text join gives you a lot more flexibility in doing that. And even when we have our blank cell here, let's try the text join. Text join, tab, delimiter, comma, space, uh, quotes, ignore empty. And if I select all of this, it's going to ignore these empty cells. You can see ignore those empty cells. After the dash two, it'll go to that dash five without any extra commas, right? So that's a nice thing about text join. You can see text join has a lot of flexibility, but if you don't like to add in those extra arguments, then you may want to use join because it's a little bit more simple, right? But they're all there for you to turn columns or rows of list or arrays into a comma separate value so you can put it into some other system. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.